Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create responsive menu in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, to create the responsive menu in the WordPress, first of all what we need to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for header and footer. Okay, so here we have to install Elementor header and footer builder. So we have to update this because we have already installed this. Now we have to activate this again or I think it will already be activated if I'm not wrong. Yes, it is already activated here. As you can see here, we have the Elementor header and footer builder. Okay, so after this, what we have to do, we have to go inside the Apetius and here we have to go inside header and footer builder. And here we have to click on add new and I'm going to name it as responsive header so the type of template would be header and I'm going to select entire website perfect now let's click on publish now we have to click on edit with Elementor and in here we will be building our responsive header so how can we do this first of all we're going to add the container here so I'm going to go here with two column structure or we can also use three column structure and now what we have to do on the first container I'm going to use the logo and on the second container I'm going to add navigation menu and on the last container we can add the button as well if you wanted to so I'm going to add the button here on the last container and it will be let's say join us or something like this perfect so the first thing that we have to do here is to add the logo so let's click on choose image and here I'm gonna simply click on this so we can use this as the logo click on select perfect so now what we have to do we have to put our menu into the center so now we have to align the items into the center perfect and after this we have this button so we can also put this onto the right side onto the center or the right side I think we can go here on the end side or maybe to the center so let's put this to the center okay so now what you have to do I'm gonna actually customize my navigation menu so I would actually like to change the color of the text here so the text color would be I think I would go here with the green color or we can go here with dark green color and on the hover we can have the black color this will look good yes perfect now what we have to do I think this is looking fine and we can increase the horizontal pairing so I'm going to increase the value here to the 35 and we can also increase the vertical pairing all right so I think I would go here with the default value so on the vertical pairing I think I would go here with the 15 and we also have a space between so we can also increase the space here and we also have the row spacing so I can also increase the row spacing here but I'm going to go here with the zero and what else we can do we also have the drop down but on our menu we don't have any drop down option okay and after this we have the menu trigger and the close button so these options are actually for the mobile version okay so now what we have to do I think this is looking fine we have the layout here and I can put this and I think this is looking good so in the layout what do we have we have the horizontal we have the vertical and we have the expanded and flyout. So we're going to keep this as horizontal. Perfect. And after this, what do we have? We have the breakpoint. So I'm going to break this to the mobile. Perfect. And what do I need to do here? I'm going to click on the button and I will also style this. And I will change the text color here to the green color that we have on our menus. Okay, so I have to change the text color here. This will be this one and on our background color i think we can go here with this one or maybe this one or even i can go here with transparent color actually so i'm going to go here with the transparent color and what i will do here i'm going to add the border here so this will be solid and i'm going to add the width here this will be let's say one and let's just add the color here it will have the same color as our text so this is going to be theme color two and we're going to add the borrow radius so let's just go here with the 25 something like this yes now you can see this this is looking good 
and what we can do that whenever we hover over this so let's go into the hover we're gonna have the text color that will be the black or maybe white i think we're gonna go here with black color and we're gonna change the color here of the background that will be the ascent color i think this is looking good and for the border i can put this to none or for the border i can go here with you know the white color perfect i think i can change the text color here that will be white this is looking good or we can go here with the same color so i'm going to go here with the same color perfect all right so now if i just change this to the template version you can see that our design is not responsive so now we have to make this responsive for the template portrait the first thing that we have to do here is to click on our container and here what i have to do i think i have to click on our navigation menu directly we're going to go inside the style here and we're going to decrease the horizontal pairing yes i think this is looking fine yes we can go here with the 15 px this is looking better and now what we can do i'm going to actually change the width of our logo here so we're going to change the width here i think this is enough for the 50 percent and one thing that we have to do here i'm going to do this on the main container i put all the content into the center all right so now this is looking good and i think i have to do the same thing on this one so let's change the size of the logo here as well maybe this can be 60 percent or we can go here the 50 percent and let's just click on our main container and put this into the center now this is looking good okay and what else we can do here okay i'm gonna add the background color here so that will be the white color or we can also keep it a transparent as well all right so we're gonna go here with the white color perfect and now let's click on our template portrait you can see here our design is responsive and on the mobile portrait if i click on our icon here you can see this this is also responsive but we can even make this look better on our mobile portrait so how can we do this it's pretty simple all right so now we're gonna go back to our desktop version and here one thing that i have to do i have to duplicate this design okay so the first design would be specifically for the desktop version and the tablet version and the second one would be for the mobile portrait okay so now what we have to do we have to do one thing here i'm going to click on the first one and go into the advanced settings and here i have to go inside the responsive and i have to disable this on the mobile portrait okay and on the second one i have to hide this on the desktop and the tablet portrait okay perfect so now if i just go into the tablet portrait you can see this this is looking good and if i go to the mobile portrait the second menu was, will be visible and the first menu would not be visible okay so now what i have to do i actually have to optimize this for the mobile version and on the mobile version i would actually like to delete this the last container so i'm going to delete this from here and now it would have only these two uh, containers the one with the logo and the second one with the hamburger so I just click on the width of our logo. So I'm going to change this to the 50%. And I'm going to also change the second one to the 50% as well. Now both of these are looking good. Now I have to position my logo to the left side. So let's click on our logo here. And we have to put this on the left side. This is looking good. And we can increase the width of it. So we're going to go here with let's say 70%. And on here what we have to do. We actually have to change the layout here. So this is going to be the flyout. All right. And now if I just click on this, you will be able to see that we are having our menu on the sidebar. So this is looking good for the mobile portrait. Okay. So the first thing that I have to do here is to align this to the right side first. So I'm going to click on our container here. Let's just put this on the right side. This is looking good. And now what I have to do. I'm going to go into our navigation menu and let's go into the style here and here i have to click on the menu trigger and the close button okay so if you want to change the color of this close button you can simply change this from here so i'm going to change this to let's say the red color or something like this all right or we can go here with any other color whatever you want so we can also go here with this green color as well or i'm going to go here with this one all right and now what we have to do we can also change the menu color here as well so if i change the color here 
you can see we are having the different color here so we're gonna go here with the theme color here as well this is looking good and similarly we can also add the background color but i don't want to add any background color here but we're gonna have the hover color so this will be a kind of dark color this is looking good and what else we can do here yeah we can also change the text color here so if i just click on this one and i'm going to go into the main menu so in the main menu we are having the fly out boxes so you can also increase this value or decrease this value whatever you want to prefer here but i'm going to go here with the different value the default value here after that we have the pairing we have the horizontal pairing so we can change the horizontal pairing here so i think this is looking fine or this one and we're going to add the vertical pairing so this is looking good we can add the space between i think this is looking fine we don't have to add the space between then we have the menu item top spacing so let's try to put some space from the top side this is looking fine and similarly we can also change the background color here okay so we can go here with the black color but i'm gonna go here with let's say the green color but it won't make anything visible let's just try out the light color here this is looking fine but right now let's just keep it to the white color perfect i think we have created our responsive menu in the wordpress so now what we have to do we have to click on publish and now we have to go to our website here so let's copy this all right so as you can see here that we are having our customized header so if i just change the size here so let's go here with the different sizes so i'm going to go here with the tablet size and we can also have this mobile size so you can see here it is optimized on the mobile size as well so this is looking good and uh, let me just change the size here to the iphone se or something else this is looking good and if i change the mobile here as well this is also looking good so this is how we can create the responsive menu in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel